Good morning children. How are you all? I hope you all are fine and staying happily with your parents. Now children, we have almost completed our portion for the first semester. Only one topic is left that we will complete today. And we have completed lesson number one, lesson number two, lesson number three, lesson number four and lesson number six. And all these lessons will be coming for your uh, first semester exams. Now, uh, before starting with the today's topic, today we'll be doing worksheet number one. Worksheet number one, page number 60, uh, 59 and 60. These two pages will only come for your um, first semester exam. Okay, before that, before going and solving the worksheet, let me tell you few things, uh, okay, before starting the worksheet. Now, we have completed almost three lessons and two poems, okay. The two poems are the first tooth and lesson number three, puppy and I. Now, children, you have to by heart the whole poem, the whole poem for your recitation purpose. Listen me carefully. Please pay attention to these lines. Only for recitation purpose, the whole poem you have to learn. You have to learn the whole poem, uh, both the poems for recitation purpose. Okay? There will be a choice. Now, you can learn one poem properly, but it should be very much in a proper order for recitation purpose. Recitation means when the teacher calls you one by one and listens the poem that is called the recitation exam okay so that time i will be listening or the concerned teachers who will teach you who will teach you english too will be listening the recitation part now for writing part what will come for your writing exam is the first five lines which we have written in our notebook okay the first five lines will be only asked for the writing purpose, not the whole poem. But here with proper punctuation marks, with proper line, okay, proper sequence of the line, you should learn and practice it, okay. Now, uh, before uh, uh, second number uh, thing is, you will be soon getting your summer assignments. That is summer assignment. You remember you do it for your summer holidays. Okay. You get some work to do. Same way you will be getting your summer assignment work which will be uploaded very soon uh, in our school website. You can go there. Your parents can go there. Download it as we are doing our study material. Okay. Now. The first, there will be two questions, two work, work uh, are there, two work for English two. Number one is your writing, easy writing. Easy writing, you all must be knowing, this is the easy writing book, yes, cursive writing book and in this writing book, you will be writing till page number 10. Okay, till page number 10. If you open your book, you will be, uh, you'll be watching, uh, you can see number 2 here. The page, the count starts from number 2. Okay, so till page 10 only you have to write. Okay, till page 10. This is of class 4, not of your class, but just I have used this to show it, show to you. Okay, so till page number 10 you have to do. Number one, this was your first, this is your first assignment, okay? Then second assignment is uh, a question from the textbook. From the textbook only, uh, you have to fill the blanks with the collective, prop, uh, collective nouns, correct answer, collective nouns, okay? Now, if you have studied the lessons properly, the, I will not tell you the answer over here. But if you have studied the lesson uh, properly, the question is there only in the book. You can open the book 
find out the answers and write it down now where will you do that second number question the second number question you will do in your english 2 notebook notebook means the copy in which you are writing your question answers word meaning and difficult words remember the copy the english 2 copy classwork copy which is which we call classwork copy that same notebook you will be writing summer assignment work okay you know how to write summer assignment work the first page uh, the the page you can decorate with uh, by writing summer assignment just nominal decoration not a huge fuss over there okay just a little bit not much then on the second page you can start with your question no decorations needed on that page just simply write the question and fill the answers fine so this uh, these two questions are there for your summer assignment work now before starting the worksheet let me tell you few things two three things were left of our previous lessons i have uh, provided the study that uh, questions which were left on the school's website so you can go and download it and do it on the uh, the page which is there as you have as you go okay like you must have finished lesson number six no problem a question of previous lesson is left you can just put a heading lesson number or uh, this question this and do it on that particular page no need of doing it on the uh, same uh, portion where you have done that same lesson one question was left and the one more question of the last lesson which we did the ghost is left that is make sentences i have given okay i have provided the, that also so you can take it from the school's website and and write it down okay so anything else yes so let us now move on and we will be doing the worksheet okay fine okay children let us start with the uh, worksheet one i will ask you to open your books on page number 59 okay the worksheet one is there on page number 59 here you can see comprehension is written. Now what is a comprehension? Comprehension is a um, type of a question in which you get a paragraph. Either you can get a paragraph or a short poem. Now you have to read it and then there are certain questions. After that you have to answer your uh, questions uh, based on the paragraph the questions will be based on the paragraph and answers will be there in the paragraph or the poem so that is called a comprehension okay so let us start here we have a comprehension and it is a poem uh, the poem says and the name of the poem is what is pink what is pink written by Christina Rossetti okay she is a very uh, she was a very famous poet and we have read many poems of her and one of the poem is here what is pink so what is pink a rose is pink by the fountain's brink what is blue the sky is blue where the clouds flow through what is white a swan is white sailing in the light what is yellow? Pears are yellow. Rich and ripe and mellow. What is green? The grass is green. With small flowers between. What is violet? Clouds are violet. In the summer twilight. What is orange? Why an orange? Just an orange. So this is a very beautiful poem. A poem on the names of colors yes so names of colors all the almost all the colors names of colors are written here okay 
we will read it once again what is pink a rose is pink by the fountain's brink brink means um, edge what is blue the sky is blue where the clouds flow through what is white a swan is white sailing in the light what is yellow pears are yellow rich and ripe and mellow what is green the grass is green with small flowers between what is violet clouds are violet in the summer twilight what is orange why an orange just an orange okay so now some questions follow some questions follow and the questions are the first one says true and false the first one says true and false the first one says true and false the number one is the sky is green so is the sky green sky is blue it is not green so this statement is this statement is false so we will write here false we will write here false you you can write the answer here in in front of the particular line there is no space given but you can write here okay then second the rose is pink yes the rose is pink so it is true t r u e true pears are violet pears are violet violet is uh, almost a mixture of a little bit purplish little bit of red color reddish it's violet it's not exactly purple so are pears violet no they are not violet in fact pears are yellow then the swan is white the swan is white yes true it's true so this way you will get the questions based on the question uh, the comprehension whatever you have read so this way the second one is quest answer this questions now you can see here the child has drawn a line and written the answers in front of the question so you can also take the scale and uh, pencil and draw a line and write the answer in front of the question only okay so where is the rose where is the rose the rose is by the fountain's brink so you can get the answer there exactly in the poem what is pink a rose is pink where is the pink by the fountain's brink okay so the answers are there in the po the comprehension which you have already read it can be a poem here it is a poem when are the clouds violet the question is when are the clouds violet the clouds are violet in the summer twilight when summer twilight twilight means um, the light uh, the sun is about to get um, about to set okay the time just before it the shade which comes on the clouds is violet so this is the answer number 3 what is rich what is rich what is rich rich and ripe pears are rich and ripe okay the answer is pears are rich and ripe then what is sailing in the twilight a swan is sailing in the twilight uh, sorry what is sailing in the light a swan is sailing in the light then this is the answers so you can draw a line with a scale and pencil and draw uh, write the answers just in front of the in front of the question now next is vocabulary okay here you will find many questions 1 2 3 4 
four questions are there based on vocabulary now number a says rewrite these phrases after inserting hyphens where appropriate hyphen means a small dash which we have already done in previous one of the previous lesson a small dash between two words are called is called hyphen so the first is a 30 page book a 30 page book what you can do is you take your pencil and put the hyphen here only in the book only okay no need to write it down somewhere in the book only you can put the hyphen so a 300 page book a 300 page book so the hyphen will be between 300 and page between 300 and page okay second number a well known actor a well known actor the hyphen will be between well and known between well and known number 3 a two week vacation a two week vacation the hyphen will be between two and week between the two words two and week okay then number 4 sun dried tomatoes sun dried tomatoes the hyphen will be between sun and dried sun and dried so sun dried tomatoes then number 5 last minute decision last minute decision the hyphen will be between uh, last and minute okay between the words last and minute then number 6 old fashioned clothes old fashioned clothes old fashioned clothes so hyphen will be between old and fashioned the hyphen will be between old and fashioned okay so you i hope you have put the hyphen once again i will tell the answers the hyphen, the first one a 300 page book the hyphen will be between 300 and page number 2 a well known actor the hyphen will be between well and known 3 number 3 a two week vacation a two week vacation the hyphen will be between two and week number 4 sun dried tomatoes the hyphen will be between sun and dried number 5 last minute deci- uh, decision the hyphen will be between last and minute okay number 6 old fashioned clothes the hyphen will be between old and fashioned old fashioned between the two words old and fashioned now next question is match the compound words match the compound words so you can see two columns two a table there with two columns one side the word is written the other side the other word is written you have to match it what you will do is you will put numbers over here okay this side or uh, on the uh, right hand side okay right hand side pan number 1 is pan p a n pan knob ball book mother cake so the first word becomes pan cake so put number 1 here okay number 2 note n o t e note knob ball book br- mother so note goes with book so it becomes a new word notebook so put number 2 there number 3 door knob ball mother no na door knob the handle is called the door knob so the word will become door knob and you will put number 3 here like this then number 4 foot foot ball two words are left mother and ball so obviously foot ball so you will put number 4 over here and last word is grand 
mother number 5 this way okay so new words are pancake notebook door knob football grandmother done then the next question make sentences with these phrasal verbs you will do it in your notebook that is your english to class work copy you will do it in your english to class work copy and the answers and the sentences i have provided there in the school's website okay you will get it the answers you will get all the answers there in that answer in that particular uh, file you will get this answer also call off wipe off get off turn off wash off and tear off you remember we have already done this type of question in the previous lesson yes call off means to cancel wipe off means to clean get off means to get down turn off means to switch off wash off means to clean with water tear off means to take out the clothes especially yes so can we make some sentences out of it call off example is the meeting was called off due to unavailability of the spokesperson yes then number 2 is wipe off the mother wiped off the child's dirty face yes then number 3 is get off get off mm, the old man did not get off on the uh, did not get off from the bus on the last stop okay then turn off the father asked the children to turn off the television then wash off um uh, these greasy stains will not wash off with soap and water then okay tear off to take out the clothes uh the boys tore off their clothes hurriedly and jumped into the pool okay this way all the sentences are there in this i have provided that in the school's website so all the answers are also there in between only the sentences are there and i have written it written there that this question is to be done in the copy so do this question in the copy okay just put the heading worksheet 1 page number 60 and start doing it then number d complete these similes complete these similes similes so number 1 is cry like a cry like a baby baby cries a lot na similes means we compare uh, with a thing or a person or an animal uh, in the nature which does the thing um, the work like that okay we compare similes means we compare one thing with the other like here we are comparing the crying anybody's crying with the baby's crying okay now number 2 swim swim like a swim like what swims fish na fish swims in water so if somebody swim uh, swimming sorry if somebody is swimming and we want to compare it we will compare it like this the girl is swimming like a fish so here we will write fish okay so this is called simile we compare as wise as an as wise as an owl owl is considered to be the wisest um, of all the animals especially birds okay it is considered like that so here we are comparing somebody's wisdom with the wisdom of 
owl then as cool as what is cool i say school anything else here the answer will go cucumber okay now you must be eating cucumber these days okay it's very hot we try to keep ourselves cool by drinking cold water and having cold things and in that sequence cucumber is considered to cool our stomach okay so we eat cucumber so here somebody's um, quality of coolness is compared with cucumber as cool cool as cool as cucumber okay the next is as fresh as daisy as fresh as daisy the flower daisy is considered is uh, considered to be fresh it looks very fresh so the freshness is compared with daisy okay freshness of daisy as quick as bunny or rabbit okay bunny as quick as a rabbit or a bunny bunny and rabbit almost same here we are going to write bunny as quick as bunny have you seen a bunny a rabbit it's very quick it's very fast have you heard that story na you must have heard the story of rabbit and the hare no, sorry the tortoise and the hare okay so hare rabbit and bunny all are same so the rabbit is considered very quick it it jumps it runs very fast the the moment you will see it here next moment it is somewhere else so the quickness is compared to the bunny somebody's quickness is compared to the bunny's quickness so with this we finish the worksheet only page number 60 and page number sorry 59 and 60 will come for your first semester exam page number 61 and the next page that is 62 is not there page number 61 will come in the second semester exam not in this so no need to touch this no need to do this no need to solve this i know you people know all the answers you are so intelligent you are so good i know you must be knowing all the answers but please don't fill this okay don't fill page number 61 complete till page number 60 only and then once again i'm telling you on page number 60 we have a question that is make sentences that question you have to do it in your english 2 class work copy yes okay fine so children with this we complete our syllabus and our work for the first semester exams i hope you people have done all the work if not you have lot of time sit back home take the help of your parents and complete the work properly okay